Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. With praise ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. Who will hear the cry of the poor? The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. Let the lowly hear and be glad. The Lord listens to their pleas, and to hearts broken God is near. Who will hear the cry of the poor? The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you. And with you. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you rose gloriously from the dead, giving us the hope of eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you ascended in glory to your Father's right hand and now intercede in our behalf. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you fulfilled the promise and sent the Holy Spirit upon us to lead us and guide us on our way to the Father in heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son has raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from the slavery of sin, you'll bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the works of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his frame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. 
Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them, the just walk, but the sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Be the God. My mouth will declare your praise. My, My mouth, mouth will, will declare, declare your, praise. your praise. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, in the greatness of your compassion. Wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. My mouth will declare your praise. Behold, you are pleased with sincerity of heart, and in my inmost being you teach me wisdom. Cleanse me of sin with hyssop, that I may be purified. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. My mouth will declare your praise. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. My mouth will declare your praise. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My mouth will declare your praise. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. When the Spirit of truth comes, He will guide you in all the truth and remind you of all that I have told you. Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and in your lips that you may worthily and fittingly proclaim his holy gospel in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand over you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father is speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
first reading the, all this week was from the book of the prophet Hosea. Uh, every now and then when I'm visiting nursing homes, I'll walk into somebody's room and they'll be putting a uh, jigsaw puzzle together and just looking at all the pieces. And I always try to see if I can help them find a piece to fit. But uh, sometimes just looking at all the pieces of the puzzle, you don't have much of an idea what it's going to be like. I like to think of the prophets of the Old Testament as pieces of the puzzle telling us something about God. In recent weeks, we heard the prophet Amos, who from the southern kingdom went down to the north, and uh, he basically uh, stresses the justice of God. Uh, and there's going to be a day of reckoning. If we uh, continue our sinful ways, uh, we're going to have to pay a price. And above all, we who are wealthy and rich have to share our talents and our gifts and our skills with those who aren't so blessed and, and looking after the poor. Uh, Isaiah uh, was very much aware of the holiness of God. He was sort of a priest in the temple in Israel and um, or in, uh, in Judah, in uh, Jerusalem. And uh, he had a vision of God and uh, every time we celebrate the Eucharist, every day, no matter where the Mass is being celebrated throughout the world, we quote from Isaiah when we pray, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. He was so very much aware of the holiness of God and in comparison, our sinfulness. And so it's good to think about that when we come to celebrate the Eucharist, to wear the holiness of God present at the altar, Jesus under the form of bread and wife, and we come encumbered by our selfishness or sinfulness and so on. Hosea is the, the peace of God's love. Um, and he learned from his own experience. Uh, he loved his wife very much. Her name was Gomer. And she turned out to be unfaithful to him time and time and time again. But he still loved her. And eventually, uh, when she had no place else to go, he accepted her back and continued to love her as his wife. And from his own tragic experience, he came to realize that his wife's adultery was very similar to the people's idolatry. When they're constantly going and worshiping pagan gods, even though the God of Israel, the God of, uh, of Judah was the one who brought them out of Egypt and pledged uh, allegiance to them, and yet they continued to be unfaithful. So he became very much aware of God's love for us and uh, compared God's love for us as that of a, a loving spouse or as a loving father looking after, after his wayward children. But he's always there, he's always patient, he'll always accept them back. Um, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Jeremiah spoke especially against foreign alliances, trusting in the Lord, but also preaching a message of hope when the people refused, when the king refused, made foreign alliances, and the city was being destroyed. And then Ezekiel proclaims a message of hope. So each of the prophets presents uh, a piece of the puzzle as to who God is, a God of love and forgiveness, a God of justice, um, a God of um, um, forgiveness. Um, and then when Jesus comes along, St. Paul says, Jesus is the image of the invisible God. I'm looking at somebody's puzzle on the desk, and then I see the box and it has the picture of the, of the, the completed uh, puzzle on the cover of the box. Okay, Jesus is the visible, the uh, visible of the invisible God. Does God love us? Well, did Jesus love us? He tells us greater love than this no one has than he laid down his life for his friends. And that's what Jesus did for us. Is God a God of forgiveness? From the cross, as they're still mocking him, Jesus and making fun of him as he's suffering excruciating pain, uh, he prays, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they do. Does God forgive us our sins? Look at Jesus encountering Peter at one of his resurrection appearances. Three times Peter had denied that he knew him. Jesus simply asked him the question three times, Simon, do you love me? Yes, Jesus is the image of the invisible God. So think about that often. We have cause to rejoice and give thanks and praise for God is a God of love, a God of mercy, a God of forgiveness. He loves us always, and he's always present and aware of us and with us. 
And so we have cause to give him thanks and praise. And that's what we come here to do every morning as we celebrate the Eucharist. So with that in mind, let us pray. O God, our Heavenly Father, Jesus, your Son, has revealed you to us as the God of love and God of mercy and forgiveness. And so we come to you with confidence this morning in spite of our weaknesses and humbly ask you to grant us these favors, which we ask in Jesus' name. We pray for Archbishop Lucas and the leadership of the Archdiocese of Omaha in their efforts to further the kingdom of God in new ways. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And with the help of the Holy Spirit, our journey together will lead us to a deeper faith and experience of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are presently serving in the military, that they may be kept safe from harm and return to their families unharmed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace throughout our nation during this time of turmoil, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people who are suffering throughout the world for, from extreme heat, flooding, fires, storms, and other natural disasters, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may enjoy the eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For more vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Hear our prayer. For thanksgiving for the rain we have received and for continued favorable weather throughout the planting and growing season, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our unspoken needs and intentions, let us pause now and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer this Mass this morning for Ray Torek. We pray to the Lord. Lord and we pray for Sherry Drummond and Clinton Drummond, who are being buried today for their families who mourn their passing. We pray to the Lord. Lord our o God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name. For he is Lord forever and ever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have this mind to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand for the praise you are received, for our good and good of all the Holy Spirit. May the salvation directed to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of, prayer, of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory 
that you came to the inner world of beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created right it gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by his death, who will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the Most Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Joseph, St. Isidore, and with all your saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for failing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, the entire people your Son has gained for you. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to other passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow the world all that is good. 
through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Share with one another the sign of Christ's peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the old him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 615, Isaiah 49. 
I will never forget you, my people. I have carved you on the palm of my hand. I will never forget you. I will not leave you orphaned. I will never forget my own. Does a mother forget her baby? Or a woman, the child within her womb? Yet even if these forget, Yes, even if these forget, I will never forget my own. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our final hymn is number 624, Whatsoever You Do. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people that you do unto me. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do, to the least of my people that you do unto me. When I was homeless, you opened your door. When I was naked, you gave me your coat. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people that you do unto me. Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.